Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the RT Vet YouTube channel. Today, I want to come out and say something first because, well, this is what happens when, uh, well, let's just get to it. Roll that intro. Yup, it's lunchtime. <laughs> Time to make a sandwich. Anyways, what I want to tell you guys is that we've been... Alright, here it is. So, the big secret. Well, I'm dying. Not really. But, I have ringworm. Hmm, yeah, typical, you know what happens. Especially when other people that you're around have it and cohen poor cohen he's been fighting this for literally over a month over a month now it started with his leg and this one spot on his leg it just won't will not go away and it's it really it sucks because it was like this close to being gone and then back and it was worse much much worse so the poor guy has been battling it but not only on his leg, he's battled it on a few spots on his leg there in the same in the same general area. But he also touched the back of his head and started getting what they call folliculitis. Folliculitis. There we go. And it's where the ringworm fungus, it's not ringworm at this point when it gets into your hair follicles because it's not a ring. It's not like this. And so they it's the same virus or not virus i'm sorry it's the same fungus that causes ringworm that's what it is it's not a real worm it's not a worm worming around in your skin nothing like that and so he's been fighting it and we've been healing it and making it so much better by using deuterra essential oils and now that i have it the only thing i'm going to be using because i haven't seen a doctor in two years and i'm not going to make a doctor's appointment for this this there's no reason for it at all so i'm going to be using tea tree oil because tea tree oil is said to help kill off ringworm now when it gets into your hair it gets a little more complicated but i'm here to tell you that there are still mixtures you can make to use in your hair that will help it get a lot better. God works his miracles. <laughs> God works his miracles. So anyways, got my cup of tea. Now I'm ready to go read the day-by-day -day devotions and catch back up with you after that. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, oh yeah, don't mind. It's just a wedding picture. Something in this box. I'm excited. So, um, hmm, change the plans. We're going to read the day-by-day -day devotion now. <laughs> All right, so I'm pretty excited. I got a new mic, and it's probably going to pick up a lot of noise from my computer and just now my shoe. Anyhow, let's dive into our day-by-day -day devotion book and read the devotion for today. But you can get this book in the description below. There is a link. Check it out if you're interested. Ready for the cynics? and mocker mockers is that right cynics worldly people imagine that the saints must find it difficult to live with so many restrictions but the bondage is with the world not with the saints oswald chambers as your kids get older and start to own their faith they're going to face some spectics naysayers and naysayers that is not a bad thing. If your kids are only following Christ because of you, then they may be in trouble. But sooner or later, hopefully sooner, you want them to own their own faith, to know the personal advantages of living a life surrendered to Christ, advantages for today and for eternity. Along the way, they will have classmates and friends who don't get it. Those lost souls are very likely to reap repeat the same tired refrains used for centuries. Church is for people who 
can't think for themselves, or religion is all just a bunch of rules. Your most important job is to help your kids choose to follow Christ. Your next most important job is to help them defend their faith from mean-spirited cynics, from true friends asking legitimate questions, and also from their own reasonable doubts that creep in as they grow in wisdom and wrestle with the great truths of life. The Bible suggests that you and your children should not be intimidated by doubters and mockers. As a matter of fact, the goal eventually is to welcome those naysayers into conversation. After all, the good news is for everyone. I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. Roman 1 1 16. What about you? When the world scoffs at your beliefs, are you ready? We have a we have a, a, a bill <laughs> we have a responsibility for ourselves and until they're ready we have a responsibility for our kids too good book good book and that one good for anybody and everybody honestly but it's very true you'll come across people God's not real they'll deny him they'll make fun of him they'll mock you but I'm here to tell you, stay strong in your faith. If you just whisper Jesus or thank you Jesus or right then in that moment when they're starting to say those things, you can ask the Holy Spirit, you can ask God, you can ask Jesus, hey, help me out. And guess what? They're going to. They're going to. Many, many times I've wanted to say more and more than I probably should. And in those moments, I say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I send that little prayer up. Thank you. Because I'm thankful for the good and I'm thankful for the bad. That's the thing. So, and it helps me a ton. And hopefully it helps you guys. Hopefully this is maybe just opening a door for you. And if it is, definitely let me know. Don't, don't be afraid to drop a comment down below. I'd love to talk more. Um, I'm... I'm just a disciple reading the Bible, and yes, I attend church, but I honestly feel like is it, you just got to seek God. You have to seek Him, and then as soon as you start seeking Him, you'll find where you need to go, because He's going to help you, lead you along the path, walk with you along it. So, anyhow, let's get back to the action. Oh, how's that audio? Let me know in the comments. Whew. And we're back with the live action. Yep. Uh, mm, mm, not so live. However, I did just finish another video, so look forward to a fun one coming soon. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and end off the vlog today. Have a great night. Smash that thumbs up button. Click the red subscribe button. Don't forget to ring that bell. Drop a comment down below, and we will see you tomorrow. And ring that bell. And ring that bell again. God bless. Don't ever give up, God is here with you yeah. You are a child, nothing but love is true This God it thinks of you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ he